I'm all ready. We're good. Hello my beautiful family and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to share some dress code appropriate outfit ideas and I hopped on Instagram as I always do and I asked you to submit all of your school's dress code rules and I got so many responses so thank you to each and every one of you who participated but I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over here so you guys can kind of see what the responses looked like but the most common ones that I saw were actually ones that were at my high school school as well back when I was in high school like five years ago I graduated in 2012 actually and I still can't do math wait that was like seven years ago are you kidding me wow seven years since I graduated high school oh my gosh I'm so old oh my gosh my high school reunion is in three years what the heck wait Wow. I have my handy dandy iPad here and I'm looking through your responses. So here are the rules that I'm going to incorporate in this video. No shoulder showing, nothing cropped. That might be a problem because most of my wardrobe is cropped clothing, but we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. No short shorts. Again, we might have a problem. I'm like 5'2", and I usually wear shorter shorts because it elongates my legs and makes me look a little bit taller than I actually am. So if there's a dress, it has to be longer than your fingertips, spaghetti straps. Honestly, I feel like you can get away with this if you wore cardigans. I remember doing this a lot in school. Anyways, those are the rules we're going to roll with. And of course, this is more for outfit inspiration. So if you have an item that works better than what I have, definitely feel free to switch it out. Just want to make that disclaimer. <laughs> For this first outfit, I'm keeping things relatively simple. Oh wait, there's a bag there because I put my shoes on over there so I wouldn't get the carpet dirty. Anyways, I'm pretty sure most of you have this outfit in your closet. I would be concerned if you didn't, but I'm wearing a basic t-shirt with some denim jeans that I decided to roll up on the bottom and then pair it with my filas. Now filas go with literally everything. They're like the new converse. Yeah, I thought we'd keep it simple for this first outfit. When you're wearing such a simple outfit, I definitely recommend accessorizing as much as you can. I have these gorgeous earrings on right here. And then I also have this necklace from Missouri. It is so cute. I'm just going to layer on one more necklace because I love the dainty layered look. Boom. So the amazing thing about this outfit is you can literally swap out the top for any other graphic tee or just plain t-shirt that you have and boom there's a new outfit for you. I remember this was like my go-to back in high school because it was just so easy. So here I have a couple different graphic tees from Brandy but yeah you can literally wear whatever you want. For this outfit, we're going to kind of push the limits of dress code because I am wearing a crop top. However, it doesn't really look like a crop top though because I paired it with this midi skirt from Brandy Melville. Actually, this whole outfit is from Brandy Melville to be honest, but I highly doubt you'll get a dress code violation with this outfit. So if you want to look cute in school and you also despise wearing jeans, I highly recommend some printed pants. Now, these are so comfortable. You can find them almost anywhere. This one is from PacSun and then the striped one I'm going to show you in a second is from Brandy Melville. But seriously, they spice up your outfit. You're super comfortable and you're avoiding dress code violation. Oh, I forgot to include shoes with this outfit, but I think a pair of strappy sandals would be adorable. Okay, we're gonna push the limits of dress code violation a little bit in this outfit. So, I love t-shirt dresses and the best solution to get away with this, I feel like, is wearing biker shorts underneath because biker shorts are trendy right now and also they are a lot longer than short shorts, obviously. So here I'm wearing an oversized t-shirt that I got at Uniqlo with some biker shorts, which Jeff actually hates, but it kind of go with this outfit, I think. And then I paired it with my Doc Martens, but yeah let me know if your school would let you get away with this outfit i know mine would just because where we lived was like 100 degrees for this next outfit i'm going to be wearing a dress because as a lot of you mentioned if you wear a dress or a skirt it has to be longer than the end of your fingertips which i think this one is like right there it might be like a little shorter but like i don't think it'll be that big of a deal just make sure you wear shorts under and to complete this outfit i paired it with my doc martens and layered a bunch of necklaces and that is it i'm pretty sure you shouldn't get dress code 
For this last outfit, I am yet again pushing the limits of dress code. Now, this cami has a spaghetti strap, which a lot of you say your school does not allow, and my school didn't like that either. So, what we're gonna do is wear a cardigan over it, which honestly, I feel like you should be fine. There's no reason why wearing a cardigan over your spaghetti strap shirt is an issue. It's only an issue if you like take it off or whatever, I guess, but if you're wearing it the whole day, you should be good to go. And I do recommend tucking in your cami just to give your body a little bit more of a silhouette. To complete this outfit, I'm pairing it with some platform sandals. Now these have straps. And after reading your responses, it seemed like anything but flip-flops was a good option at your school. And that was the same way it was at my high school. I actually remember girls wearing wedges with their dresses in the summertime. So yeah, I guess it just depends on your school. All right, I think we did it. I followed the rules as closely as I could and as I mentioned in the beginning You could definitely swap out items to accommodate to your dress code in particular I had so much fun challenging myself and creating these outfits for you and stay tuned because in the next couple back-to-school videos I'm going to be sharing some college outfit ideas But if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video Bye